Good morning, everyone. How you all doing today? Today's Friday. I feel a little bit tired, <laughs> you know, but in the spite of everything, I just want to give God thanks. You know, God allow us to live to see Friday. And a lot of people don't live to see Friday. So, you know, I just want to give God all the glory, the praise and honor. And it is such a privilege this morning, you know, for us to say that we are children of God. For us to say that, you know, we are citizens of heaven. For us to say that we have Jesus Christ living in us through his spirit so i just want to pray for somebody today i just want to encourage somebody today to be strong in the lord and the power of his might praise god you know i was reading yesterday first Thessalonians. i think it was in verse five you know when it said that the coming of the lord he was telling us that the coming of the lord gonna be unexpectedly you know it's gonna be unexpected when we don't we don't know the day that is coming you know and he was saying that it's like everybody in this world saying that everything is peaceful you know everything is secure just like how now a lot of people saying that everything is peaceful the covid is gone and everything come back to normal but the lord is gonna come upon us he said he's gonna come just like when a woman is in labor pain and when the pain come upon her she can't do nothing about it you know that's how god is gonna come jesus christ is coming back again my friend a lot of people don't believe that he is coming but we can see the time we can know that is coming is near and i sure is coming again i know is coming again and i believe in the word of god so a lot of people may be saying that everything is okay everything is normal everything is back together but he is going to come like a thief. And if we know when a thief is coming, we're going to sit up and we're going to prepare, you know, to catch the thief. We're going to, you know, get everything ready either to catch him or call the police or some people would shoot them or something, you know, but we will be alert. And that's how we have to be alert as a Christian for the coming of God. We have to be clear minded. You know, the Bible tells us that we as a Christian, we're not going to be surprised on that day. But those who just disobedient, those who don't know God, those who refuse to accept the good news. You know, God is going to come upon them like a thief. And the Bible said he's coming coming with judgment blazing fire and those who disobey god those who don't accept the good news and so my friend today it is not too late for you to accept jesus it is not too late for you to say yes i know that i say this in in all my message and the reason why i say this in all my message because it's a burning inside of me to tell somebody that it is not too late to say yes to jesus as long as you have life in your body as long as you have breath in your body you can say yes to jesus it doesn't matter all the sin and the bad things that you do jesus christ will accept you if you look at the man on the cross he was a thief you know and he said to jesus christ he said remember me when you go into your kingdom and the lord turned to him and said today you will be in paradise 
my friend it doesn't matter what you do just come to God because Jesus Christ is coming again in John in, in, in the book of John 14 he said I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place so you said I'm coming back to receive you of my own he is coming again my friend don't be don't be um so up in yourself and said well he delay like in the bible when he said he go away and he, he you know when he come back when he come back the door was a hope i don't remember what that scripture go but he said you know he leave he leave the watchman and he said when he go you know the the people them ill cheat their brother and they ill treat their sister and said that is coming is delay you know jesus christ delay but when Jesus Christ come what would he catch you doing when Jesus Christ come would he catch you sleeping and I'm not talking about literally sleeping will you turn away like some people and say the coming of God delay I am not ready yet let me go and do the things of this world let me go and enjoy sin a little more my friend what if he come and catch you sleeping don't let it come and catch you sleeping my friend now is the time for us to be alert now is the time for us to be clear-minded now is the time for us to be on guard now is the time for us to pray now is the time for us to get into the word now is the time for us to help somebody go out with an expectation tell somebody that jesus loved them go out with an expectation walk with checks in your bag walk with the word in your heart and tell somebody the good news because jesus christ is coming and my friend is not his will for none of us to perish it's not his will he don't want either of us to perish but he want us to repent and come to him he want us to repent of our sins and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ because a day when he come it is gonna be a terrible day but for the Christian that love God it's gonna be a peaceful day when we all gonna sing glory and praise to him my friend it is gonna be a day are you gonna be the one that you're going to run to the rock and say, fall on me and hide me from the face of this judgment of this man. Are you going to be the one that run into the rock? Are you going to be the one rejoicing? Are you going to be the one that caught up in the, in the, in the trumpet when it sounds? The first trumpet, my friend. The dead in Christ shall rise first. We gonna hear his voice. When he make that shout, the dead in Christ gonna rise. And those who live in gonna caught up to meet him. Are you the one in that number? If you are in that number, if you're not in that number, you can be in that number today. You can make it right with God today, right where you are. You don't have to be in a church. I say that all the time. You don't have to be right at your bedside. You can say that prior right in your car. Anyway, even in your toilet, if you're in your toilet, you can say that prayer. And you can say, Lord, I am a sinner. Have mercy upon me. Come into my heart, Lord, and change me. I accept you as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am tired of living in sin. I want to serve you, Lord. I want to experience you. So come into my heart, God, and make me yearn. You can say that to the Lord, my friend, and he will answer you. He will answer you. He will not 
turn you away because he don't want you to go to hell. That is not his will. He did not make hell for you and I. He make hell for the devil and his angels. But people refuse to accept the good news. People refuse to accept Jesus Christ. And there is no way you can make it to heaven without you, Jesus. There is no other way you can make it to heaven without you, Jesus Christ. I was reading the Bible the other day and it was just so sweet. My friend, the word of God is so beautiful. It is so sweet. It lets you laugh. It lets you cry. It lets you search yourself. It, it, it's, it is just life. You know, it just brings life to my body. And it said, um, you know, he said, you, you, there is no other name in this heaven, in this earth. A man can be saved except through Jesus Christ. There is no other way. No other way. There is two ways. And it's the broad road and the narrow road. But there's only one road lead you to heaven. And it's through Christ Jesus. So, you know, I just want to tell somebody today, man. It is so good serving the Lord. And it is the best decision I ever make in my life when I said yes to Jesus. I remember the first time, you know, when I was younger, yes, I did give my life to God, but you know, I never serious because I was just following my friends. I, I didn't know what it is, you know, but I just go to church and, you know, I see people getting baptized. The pastor said, I must get baptized and I get baptized. You know, and at the same time, I I didn't mean it because I was living with my children, father, and it, it, it was real, my friend. I just do it because I want to do it, or I just do it because I see my friend do it. But years after, I tell you, my God never gave up on me. He never gave up on me because... I love him from when I was small. You know, I remember that I, you know, I used to sing. I used to cry to him when I was small. But at the same time, I never really understand what a Christian life is. But years after, mm, I have an encounter with God. Mm. It was an afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, my friend. And I never forget it. It's just like yesterday. And I said yes to Jesus and I get baptized again. And it's been years now I've been serving God and I love it. I would not trade it for nothing, not even my life. You know, I just love the Lord. I love living for him. I love serving him. You know, I have hope in him. I never know myself. You know, I was just this little girl that so depressed and, you know, lock in the corner and cry, lock in the dark room and cry and thinking about the things that been happening in my life. And I was just so... But when I come to know Jesus, I know who I am. I know who I am and he's wonderful. And he's coming again. Don't leave behind. Don't leave behind, my friends. Seek him. Pray. Read the Bible. If you don't know where to read, go read John 3, 16. Uh, for God so loved the world. If you don't know who to read, just start in the book of Psalms. That's where I started in the book of Psalms and I get to love it. I mean, like if I'm in the toilet, my Bible is with me. If I'm taking care of anywhere I go, it's just like I couldn't leave it because the word of God is so beautiful. The word of God is so true. The word of God give comfort. He gave you peace he gave you life oh my god my friend please please i'm just telling you just seek the lord 
Don't let too late be your cry. Don't let he come and you're not ready. You know, because he come in, he said he come in with blazing, burning, judgment, fire. Oh, what a day it's going to be. But seek the Lord today. And he love you very much. I love you too. You know, but there is no love compared unto the love of Christ Jesus. Amen. There is no love like the love of God. No love can compare, my friend. So just seek the Lord today. And I I just want to thank him. I didn't really have a message. You know, I do, but I didn't prepare to say that I'm coming on to give a message. But I just want to talk to somebody and just say, be encouraged, my friend. The Lord love you more than you know. If you don't feel love from anyone else, the Lord love you. And Lisa love you too. You know, just bless the Lord today. Sing a song today. If you don't feel like praying, Pray, sing a song. If you don't feel like reading, sing a song. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Whatever you do, it is pleases unto the Lord. Amen. I just love you guys and have a good day. Have a good weekend. Today is Friday. I can't wait to go home. I've been working two weeks straight. Two weeks straight without going home. So as you can see, my house closing down. <laughs> exhausted but god is good in everything so just have a good day and god bless you guys and i love you peace out